Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and introduce you to this Laundries uh, product. Uh, so far, I had uh, been sent a couple of them to review, uh, put them through the uh, paces so far, and uh, I've been impressed with its ingenuity as well as its versatility. So let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look. All right, so I uh, removed the uh, Laundries bag from its packaging, and basically inside you have a mesh bag and you have a dry bag. Once again, when we think about versatility, uh, when we're out there in the field, uh, super lightweight, so that's not really an issue. Uh, and something else that we want to think about is multi-purposing. So here we are with a mesh bag that can be used for all sorts of stuff. Uh, once again, depending on your knowledge, uh, your training, and your uh, situation. But anything from fishing, using it as a live bait bag, uh, your dry bag here, I mean, uh, once again, it's a dry bag. So anything that you want to keep dry, uh, if you want to gather some water, uh, if you want to store anything in here from electrical equipment, uh, also for water gathering uh, in a pinch, in any type of emergency or survival situation. So you have all this versatility here uh, by having this uh, product with you. And uh, on top of it, its main purpose, or what it was really designed for, was for laundry. Uh, so when we think about it, we're out there with the active lifestyles, we're in the field, we're camping, hiking, backpacking, and uh, even in hotel rooms uh, while I'm uh, traveling. I try to pack pretty light, especially with all the uh, uh, travel restrictions on weight and carry-ons and, you know, every day that seems to cha change and uh, prices tend to get higher and uh, our... Uh, Selectivity on what we could carry seems to become less. So we always want to keep that in mind and uh, Thinking with that approach while I'm out there packing lately Let's say while I'm traveling to go teach uh, You know bouncing around different airports so on and so forth It's nice to be have a to have a solution that I could also use in my hotel room uh, Which is nice and convenient as opposed to let's say the uh, the sink itself and while we're out there in the field uh, It's uh, it's nice to be able to once again pack less stuff uh, wash your underwear, uh, wash your stuff that you're wearing. So, you know, once again, you're not uh, stinking up or contaminating uh, other stuff that's in your pack that you want to be able to separate. And a lot of times we do end up separating our gear and the dirty gear is on the outside of the pack, clean gear is on the uh, inside. And what does that mean? You're kind of doubling up on gear with, with a solution like this. You can bring less, wash it while you're out there in the field and still be good to go. Now, something that we want to keep in mind also is the uh, type of gear that we select as far as clothing. I mean, while I'm out there in the field, I want to have stuff that's going to be light, uh, easily packable, uh, not a big deal if it gets wrinkled, and of course, uh, very easy to wash and more importantly, dry. So that's going to bode my chances a heck of a lot better with a device like this than bringing out, you know, thicker clothing and so on and so forth that wouldn't be as practical. So we want to try to compare apples to apples here when we're thinking of a, uh, of a device like this so that we allow it to bode better for us uh, in the situation that we are utilizing it for. All right, so we have our mesh bag here filled with our uh, dirty clothes. We're going to go ahead, grab our uh, dry bag, insert the mesh bag with the dirty clothes into our dry bag here. Going to go ahead, fold it a few times. Say at least three, four times. Go ahead, clip it down. Take our detergent, our soap. We'll go ahead, add it to this open valve here. Put as much as needed for the amount of clothes that you have. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, get our water source. For the purposes of uh, this demonstration, I'm just going ahead using my hose. And go ahead, get any excess uh, air out of there. Go ahead, cover up your valve, sealing it up, and start shaking. Okay, once you've been shaking it for a while, go ahead, let it stand for a few minutes. Let everything, uh, let I guess the uh, soap and the detergent do its job. Okay, once your uh, laundry's been uh, basically uh, steeping in the detergent for a good 15 minutes or so, I uh, also just shook it up just a little bit more. Going ahead, opening up our valve. Once again, if we're out in the field, make sure you, you uh, stay away from any uh, water sources, lakes, streams, no matter what your soap says on it, as far as biodegradable, anything like that. So once we uh, empty out our soapy, dirty water, we're gonna go ahead and refill it for the rinse. 
with some clean water. Go ahead, seal it back up. Give it a few more shakes. So we have our water in here that we uh, just added for the rinse. And we'll go ahead, discard it once again in a safe place when we're out in the field. So it's time to uh, open up our bag. Get our laundry mesh bag out of there. Rinse it out a little bit more. And in our hotel room, uh, most places that I've been to, if not all, have a type of guideline that stretches across the, uh, the shower or the uh, bathtub. You can go ahead and hang it on there. Or if you're out in the field, set up a line uh, off of your tent, off of your hammock, whatever you're utilizing. Uh, once again, that's the easy part. Oh, the one issue that I uh, did find that I think could be a little bit better is that this uh, seems to be either glued on or uh, like hot synced on or something like that. And uh, in the field, you know, especially when we're not that late on our gear, uh, depending on the uh, situation and the mission, uh, this could become an issue and start uh, coming apart. Once again, for the purpose of this review, I've uh, utilized this probably about four times and it's been pretty good to go. Uh, but I've also been uh, pretty gentle on it. But uh, just something to uh, keep in mind and uh, something that I uh, will address with the manufacturer. So as usual, I'll go ahead and post all of the specs in our blog post, uh, including anything that I may have missed uh, in this video review. Uh, once again, the price point's good to go. Uh, the construction on it seems like it's pretty good to go, especially for the price point. And a uh, pretty cool idea with multi-purpose. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.